Well, what is this doing? The city manager sent out a memo today reminding workers here at City Hall that the city is not in crisis. Do you agree with that? Well, that's been my point all along. There are, there, the, the mayor is personally in a crisis, clearly, but uh, that is uh, personal to him and it doesn't attach to council or to the rest of the city. If you look around here, you can see the city working, you see the people downstairs getting flu shots. Uh, the work goes on, my work goes on. I have another little event in my day from time to time when I have a chance to meet with nice folks like you. But this will be five minutes out of my day, then I'll be back to work. So is it your contention that a personal crisis does not impact the political imaginations of the city? Political imaginations of the city? Sure. Do you agree or not agree that it's a If practice. I said yes to that, what am I saying yes to? I said, I said as many ways as I think I need to, that the work of the city goes on, the work of the council goes on, my work as a councillor goes on. Uh, the mayor is in turmoil, the mayor is in a mess, uh, the mayor is in a state of disgrace. Um, but that doesn't affect my work, and there's no need for that to affect the work of council. Will it make a difference if the mayor then steps aside or not? I don't, well, I guess we can all say my veto if that happens, but um, I don't see that it's going to have any impact on the work of the city one way or the other. Have you reached your saturation point in all of this? I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? <laughs> what happens next, Councillor? What happens next? You were asking me what happens next. <laughs> Are you concerned more information is going to come out? The one thing we know for sure is that the information that has come out includes portions that were blacked out. Uh, they wouldn't be included unless they had something interesting in them of some sort. Uh, and sooner or later, we, I think, are safe to assume that that information will be revealed to somebody. And it's bound to have some consequence of some sort. So, yes, there's more to come. We know that. What is your take on the mayor just simply being a At a certain level, I sympathize with anyone who is in the jackpot that the mayor has put himself in. I certainly sympathize with his family. Uh, and I hope that everyone gets through this safe and sound. That aside, um, I think we all are, uh, feel that he has disgraced himself. Uh, the city can take no pride in any of this, but the city will get through it. Are you concerned that the mayor won't get through this safe and sound? Or are you concerned for yourself? It's hard to think of a stress factor that or a risk factor to establish the city in, uh, in accordance with uh, its procedures and has given the city certain responsibilities and uh, uh, authorities. It, uh, we have our procedures. Um, and the mayor is one member out of a 45 member council. Okay. He has one vote out of 45. Uh, we have all of the tools and apparatus we need to get through all of this. The mayor has a problem. Clearly, he has, well, a host of problems. But uh, put it together, it's one big problem that the mayor has. But uh, apart from the fact that uh, none of us like to see our mayor in this predicament, none of us like to see our city the subject of, of uh, uh, late night uh, uh, talk show host uh, um, monologue uh, wisecracks. Um, we don't like any of that. That doesn't, that's not anything that interferes with the work of the city, and that doesn't yeah, have the city in uh, anywhere near the, uh, uh, the uh, predicament that the mayor is in. The mayor's in a predicament, the city's embarrassed, but the city's not in I don't see that that does anything. I really don't see that that does anything for anyone. Councilor, I have a video. Do you want to take a look? Not right now. So you've heard of the video, the violent nature of it. It's one more terrible piece of evidence about a terrible story uh, about a mayor who uh, has uh, uh, certainly acted in a disgraceful way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor Parker. You always promise me the pretty video. I never promise that. Never.